You may be seated. Hello, Your Honor. Hello. This is the case of Woodbury versus Cage. Thank you, Jerome. Good day, everyone. Ms. Woodbury, you claim you are 110% certain that your fiancé, Mr. Cage, is the father of your one-year-old son, Lexington. You say your reality TV persona has put you in the position of having to prove paternity to Mr. Cage, but also to all of the naysayers on social media and the world. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Cage, you say your paternity doubt began when the plaintiff was pregnant because of the many rumors that came from friends and others on social media. You are hoping today's results will prove you are the father. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. All right, so, Ms. Woodbury, you say you need everyone to know he's the dad. Yes, Your Honor. Explain. I mean, I know 110% that... Taquan is the father of my child. I don't sleep with no one. I don't look at nobody. I don't have feelings for no one else but this man. You know, there's always gonna be people in his ear, no matter where we go, just because I do have that reality star TV persona. And it could be not even denying our son or anything. No matter what I do with my life, someone has an opinion. And so let's be completely honest, your public persona uh, often you're portrayed as a, a girl that's fun, mm-hmm. carefree, living life, yeah. sexy, fun. So this entire image, you believe, is now almost kind of backfired in that these people expect you to be something you're saying you're not. Yes, Your Honor. So, Mr. Cage, can you take me back to how you met and tell the court how you feel about this public persona? I didn't, like... I didn't get with her because of her persona. I got with her because of the person she was. Um, When I first met her, she hit me up on Instagram through a Snapchat from a friend that she saw. And uh, she was just like, hey, I have an event. Uh, You know, I want you to come out. I want you to hang out with me and and some of my friends. You can't bring your friend. But you can't bring your friend. (laughs) So I got in the Uber. I pulled up to the event. And uh, she just pulled up. So we walk into the club, do the walkthrough, and then... After that, it was history. (laughs) Oh, wait. You say history? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, so what does that mean? Uh, So you do the walkthrough. Yeah. I invited him back home. And then... (laughs) He didn't leave after that. He stayed. (laughs) Well, this was the thing. This was the thing. So what you're saying (laughs) is you went back to your place and you all were intimate on the first night? Yes. Yes. Did you use protection? No. Oh, y'all are doing the most. (laughs) So we start off irresponsible. Yep. Yes. Have you decided your boyfriend and girlfriend now? I mean, what is this? Not right away. No, not right away. We were still just, like, hanging out. I mean, like, people were always telling me they were just, like, even some of her co-stars, they were just like, hey, listen, don't trust Kaylee. She's out there. And they... I say birds of a feather flock together. So it was just like, oh, if you're hanging out with them... You must be, you know... So, were you, ha- were you out there, Miss Woodbury? Tell the truth. What, what was going Back on? Then I, w- I, was, I mean, I wasn't sleeping around. I was having fun. I'm 21. I'm having fun. I'm going oh. out dancing. I'm partying. Yeah, I'm partying. Okay, but if we're being honest, you did bring him to your event, then bring him to your house, then sleep with him unprotected on the first day. Now, the way this courtroom usually goes, most people say, well, if you did that once... <laughs> You probably did it before. Uh, I mean, I, I'm not saying I haven't done it, but not multiple, multiple times. I, I know, mean, around, you know, I know around one or two that she's done that with, so... But it wasn't right after the other. So you're very much aware of the situation. Oh, yeah. All right, so at some point, Miss Woodbury, you find out you're pregnant. Mm-hmm. Take yeah. me to that day. Uh, I think it was a year after we finally settled down, and I haven't been feeling right. I just feel weird. So I just got up and went to the store. The store was right next to our house at the time. So I went up, got a test, and shortly after that, it said, positive, you're pregnant. So I just yelled out to him, and I was like, hey, you're gonna be a dad. And then it's, yeah. So what was the response? Were you happy? Uh, I told her she was lying. I was like, (laughs) I was like, you're lying. She was like, no, I'm not. I'll go get another one. 
And I was like, go get another one. She got another one. It was positive. And I mean, like, I was happy but scared at the same time. When does the doubt just Four set in, in and you go, is this my baby? So the doubt started kicking in. Three months in. Yeah, around three months in. Um, there was a, a artist um, and he scared, scarily resembles me. Like, it's, it's kind of no, weird. We, re we, re we resemble each other and everyone thinks so as well. And pretty much, they talked all the time. She says, about oh, what? we don't talk about all the what? time. Music. No, I don't know, because I never checked. But the things that he was saying in front of me and some of my family members were very disrespectful, and you so, just brushed it right off. Tell the court what kinds of things was he saying specifically. Like, we were in the car, and before we got out there, uh, we were just letting him know that she was pregnant. And he was like, oh, yeah, I already know. The baby gonna be good. Her and, her and the baby gonna be the good. That's my girl. You know, like... That's my girl. But, yeah, other people say that to our friends all the time, and you don't think anything of it, but when it's turned to me, it's like... Because I know See the... See me, it's my... Well, the like, correct that's my response girl. would like... have been congratulations, right? Yeah. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. Do you believe at some point she was intimate with this guy? I feel so. But I've never, ever hung out with him outside of, like, without him there. But you, never, you've, you've, ever you've, hung out with the guy. You've hung out with him prior. One time, and everyone was around. These were and you multiple saw, times. I remember you were telling me that you're there. always with him. So never. the point is, this relationship with this guy, Mr. Cage, you've not always been very comfortable with, but you're trying to lean into your trust and believe that Ms. Woodbury's saying there's no physical, emotional, sexual yeah. connection. I believe there were 100%, because at, at the end of the day, it's like, I have to trust her because we're in a relationship and I have to make sure that she knows that I have her back. But you didn't have my back because you... I didn't have it. your back after you, you and me started going back and forth every single day. About... Okay, how did it start going back and forth? It he started with know. it started with people. People around her who knew both of us. They're very close to both of us. They're like, you need to get a DNA test because we don't even trust it. So when when I it was, at, when it, when it was at, when we were filming and I told you specifically that me and this person sat down because she couldn't film. Yeah. And yeah, you remember that now, don't you? And she told me... I didn't know about the She DNA told me thing. everything. She told me not to trust you. She told me about the guy, how not to trust you and the guy. She told me all of that. And she told me to watch out. All right. So pretty much we now see how we arrived at very substantial paternity doubt. And what I'm also clear about now is Mr. Cage... You were saying all the right things, but you were feeling something different. Of course. I'm just... You just really kidding. weren't living your best life. You was living your best lie. Yeah. Right? And, Miss Woodbury, what, what, what it seems like to me is this public persona was affecting your relationship. Very much so. And then, especially when it's my child, like, our, our child, and you're gonna deny him, like, him... It hurts because there are fathers out there that are the father of a child and they still deny it. And I don't, I obviously, I don't. Like, you could 110% look, that's his, oh my gosh. That's his child. Okay, so eventually Lexington is born. Yes. He signed the birth certificate. Signed the birth certificate. I had to be there. And now Lexington is a year old. Mm -hmm. Yes. You're his daddy. Mm -hmm. Yep. You have a relationship and bond with this beautiful baby. Mm -hmm. And yet, somewhere deep inside you, there's just that question mark that won't go away. I just want closure. But there's no denying him. There's At a the picture. The day, I did provide a picture. I just And it looks closure. a spitting image of him. Same eye. Daquan has big eyes. He says he don't. He do. <laughs> and I got small little eyes. He got... I got colored eyes. He got brown eyes. Lexington has brown eyes. The artist Naturally, has brown eyes. I have blonde hair. I dye it all the time. He has dark hair, curly hair. I have pin straight so hair. So, Miss Woodbury, but... I don't want to interrupt you, but I want to say there are certain lyrics yeah. in this courtroom that are familiar. When you start singing a song about 
and see, sis, he's got dimples and he's got dimples. He's got an eye and he's got an eye. <laughs> he, I mean, right? right? He likes eggs and he likes eggs. Like, that, when that song starts to play, what it tells me is there is doubt. Yeah. And you are trying to give him facts to convince him. When you gotta convince, there's doubt. And that doesn't mean that the doubt is substantiated. It just means that the doubt is real. Mm -hmm. Am I lying? You're, you're being 100%. I don't sit here to lie. <laughs> so do you ever feel like he looks like this other guy? And I don't mean to bring him up because we're doing well, but I gotta ask because when there's paternity doubt, there's usually another guy. I feel like there's, there's certain features. <laughs> I feel like Where? features. He looks n he okay, one, he's so much darker than you. And it no. don't matter. You're No, no. Like just no. He looks I don't have to say 110 percent <laughs> nothing like the other men. The other man. Looks well, nothing like him. Miss Woodbury, I gotta say, in this courtroom, that's defunct testimony. <laughs> because it doesn't mean anything. So the truth is, the stakes are really high because you're pregnant again, Miss Woodbury. I am. <laughs> with the same man that laid with me the first time. <laughs> so Stop. we're having another baby. Have you thought about what if Lexington is not my child? We'll, we would have a long talk resulting in me going somewhere else. Yes. Wow. <laughs> See, but this is what I'm talking about. And, every, you know, babies are blessings. But what concerns me is that if you would have that response here, why are we making more babies? Because I can tell that knocked the wind out of you, Ms. Woodbury. You didn't see that one coming, did you? No, because he's been in his life for a whole year. I never why said I was leaving out, his like, life. Why would you walk out? <laughs> I never said I was leaving Lexington's life. Never, ever, ever, ever will that happen. Um, I'll make sure of that. But with me and you, it's a whole different... It's a whole different thing. I want to make sure that they're in a healthy family, not a broken, hurtful family. So, Ms. Woodbury, I see the tears in your eyes. How did that make you feel? It was like the wind got knocked out of you. It's, uh, I mean, it hurts. It's and like... now his, his feelings about the relationship is that the relationship is contingent upon what's in that envelope Jerome has. And that was news to you. Yes. Yes, Your Honor, it was. If it was the other way around, she would have done the same thing. And I know that 100%. I've been here. You, I haven't left. You've told I went me home. before. If I did I've go ever home. done anything, if I've ever done anything, you were out the door, there's no talking about it. You've said this to me. If we were switched roles, you would be out the door. And I know that for a fact. I know you. But I've stayed for all the BS you put me through. Okay, and I stayed through all the BS you put me through. I don't think I need to say much. Except these conversations, these real conversations, these uncomfortable conversations are the ones we have to have. But there is one question that we really have to get answered so we can truly have a conversation that is based upon the truth and all of the information needed to determine where you all are gonna go from here. Mm -hmm. And I have that truth. Jerome, may I have the envelope, please? Yes, you may. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. In the case of Woodbury versus Cage. When it comes to one year old Lexington Cage, it has been determined by this court. Mr. Cage, you The father. Thank you. I can see how relieved you are. Yeah. <laughs> how does it feel to just finally know? I can just... I can marry her and finish where we left off. Because that was my goal when I met her. Why are you shaking your head no? Because it's better. like... It honestly is like, why does it take going to paternity court, taking a DNA test just to, like, 
get it. Like, you should believe me when I tell you, not somebody else that's not in our picture. Like, I want you to just know that before we get to what somebody should do, he should just believe me. You've got to acknowledge that there were countless forces telling him and validating the doubt he felt. Once that happened, it was done. So everything that he should have been, you're only walking him back down to the road that backfired on you. You're telling him what he should have done. He's been trying to do what he should do, but he hasn't been successful because it's not what he really feels. Right? Yes. You all have what I call a resume relationship. I've been in one of those. He does that, she does that. Check, check. (laughs) He loves her, she loves him. Check, check. (laughs) His mama like her, his mama... Check, check. You check all the boxes, right? And at the end of the day, you still don't necessarily have what it really takes to make a long-lasting relationship. A resume relationship looks good. A real relationship functions good. Right? Yes. All right. I want you to work on getting that function to this family. Dr. Jeff is standing by. I wish you all the very best. You have beautiful children. Thank you, Your Honor. Work on it, all right? Court is adjourned.